Hi everyone, my name is Aru Shire. I'm a freshman at Northwestern University in Evanston, Illinois. and I'm currently studying economics with the intention to add a double major in something like statistics or computer science. I'm still kind of figuring that out. So before I jump right into this, I just want to preface this by saying I'm recovering from a pretty bad sickness. I'm still not feeling 100% as you can see from this sweatshirt. Uh, so if I cough, sniffle, or anything like that, please ignore that. That's what that is. And I'm so sorry in advance. Uh, but this summer, I worked as a Wallace Curver Fellow for the FAS, which stands for Foreign Agriculture Service. It's a government program. It's under the USDA, or United States Department of Agriculture. And I specifically work for something called the Cochrane Fellowship Program. So I worked on the Eastern Europe and Eurasia team of this program. And what Co the Cochrane Fellowship Program does is that it provides industry leaders and government officials from foreign countries with hands-on training and agriculture-related topics. So basically what it does is that it takes like these industry leaders, foreign government officials in the agriculture field usually, uh, and then sometimes even farmers, and it brings them from their foreign country to the United States. And we partner with a university to give them a hands-on interactive course in some kind of agricultural topic. The hope is that they take this information and when they go back to their country, they apply it to improve agricultural processes and outcomes. And that's a big part of why I would say my work matters. It gives them the tools, the international leaders, the tools to improve agricultural processes and outcomes in their countries. Moreover, it gives the United States unique economic opportunities when it comes to exporting or importing agricultural commodities. So that was kind of like a broad statement, but I think a really good example to illustrate how it gives, helps the United States is with something I'm working on right now. So I'm working on evaluating the viability of future programming in Ukraine and Georgia. So Georgia, the European country, not Georgia, the state. But a couple of examples of programs we've run in Ukraine have been programs like seafood marketing or seafood cuisine slash preparation, right? And the reason this helps the United States is because right now, um, the, the narrative I'm trying to put forward is that right now, because of... Uh, uh, Ukrainian economic crisis in 2013, seafood consumption has been down, but it is on the it's, it's on it's on the rise right now, right? Additionally, the most popular growing seafood in Ukraine has been Alaskan cod and roe, traditionally American fish. Through more Cochrane programming, we can establish ourselves as bigger players in the Ukrainian seafood market. If we improve things like seafood marketing and specifically the marketing of American fish. Right, it's a, it's a little hard to see the connection, but generally what we can do is we can use these Cochrane programming to advance at least American economic interests, at least to some extent. Of course, it's not completely greedy, right? There is, a, there's a ton of altruistic motivation, right? We, at the end of the day, we do want to help these countries with whatever problems they might be facing. I would say my favorite part of the whole experience has just been sitting in on meetings. Uh, I've had the opportunity to sit on so many different meetings. We host weekly country calls, and I've just had the opportunity to sit on so many different meetings and learn so much about what's happening in those countries. And not just agriculture related, but just in general, like political, economic, social, and it's been a really great learning experience. Another learning experience I've loved have been reading game reports. So we get game reports uh, every day, I think. Uh, and they're just like five or six really short, really well-written reports relating to some kind of agricultural commodity in a foreign country. And even if I don't know anything about the commodity, like I was reading one about seeds in Bulgaria, and it was so interesting, actually. Uh, I just love reading them because I just every day I get to learn just a little bit more about something that's happening in a different country. Uh, I think in terms of how it, this internship helped advance my professional goals, I think it helped me learn a lot more about the field. So this was my first internship, obviously my first internship in this field, and I did not know anything about this field before this internship, but I've learned so much about it, and also about civil service in general, and it does seem like a career I'd love to pursue. Uh, personally, it's helped me improve organization and time management. So I've been doing this in conjunction with college, and college is crazy, it's been so busy, but I think I've found ways to at least balance that time out, at least much better than how I was doing it at the start. Uh, it's also all in Eastern time, and I'm a Central time kind of guy, so there have been some mishaps, but I think generally I've got that down now. Finally, shout outs. So I'd like to give thanks to Secretary Tom Vilsack, uh, FAS Administrator Daniel Whitley, and Ms. Frances Vaughn for being so organized and helping me get my internship set up as quickly as possible. I'd also like to give thanks to my supervisor, Isaac Ehlers Weiss, uh, Desiree Thomas, who's been so organized and so on top of things, and answers all of my questions, no matter how dumb they might be. 
I'd like to thank my co-intern, Haley Fisher, and just everyone else on the team. So Cara, Gio, Bree, Abigail, Joe, Gabe, and so many other people. Who I, I, just, I think I just ran out of time to list. I'd like to thank you all so much for listening to my video, and I hope you guys have a great time. Bye.